Hey everyone, today I've got a review on this Mendini Superbone. Uh, so this is just a, a Chinese copy of the more popular one uh, made by Holton. Actually, the, the, that's the original Superbone, uh, the one that, that's most widely known and, and was very popular. It was made in collaboration actually with uh, Maynard Ferguson, a uh, trombone player and in trombone player. He had uh, one of the tracks on, I believe it was their, their album Chameleon. Uh, it was um, Superbone, Superbone meets the Bad Man, uh, and he just, you know, took the the combination of the valves and the slide that this thing's known for, and, and was able to just like shred it. Uh, super cool track. So obviously, the most important thing about this is having the valves and the slide in combination. Uh, it, you know, you don't normally see this on on trombones. You have, you know, regular trombones with the straight uh, straight um, slide and all that, and then you can have valve trombones you know, with valve or two if it's a bass trombone. Uh, but this wanted to combine the valve action of say a baritone or a trumpet with the slide action of the normal trombone, giving you not only the versatility of being able to move really fast with your fingers and play notes really quickly, uh, but also have glisses and things on, on the trombone slide, um, but also having a combination of both. So you can play this at the same time you know, so you could play, if you play a C on the valves, okay, well, that's kind of like pushing the, the valve on, the valve trigger on a regular trombone with an F attachment. Uh, so that's kind of fun. You can make any number of, of combinations. It's kind of fun to try and think about it. Oh, what key did I just put my trombone in? Can I play, you know, seven different notes in one position rather than just, you know, three or four? But it also gives you the opportunity um, to play different kinds of music. You know, you, there are some some styles that you can't necessarily play on a regular straight trombone, or it's not as common. Uh, but <clears throat> they they usually want to have uh, the valve trombone, which is kind of uh, not accepted in some places. You know, not everybody likes them. Um, but then maybe these other people don't like slide trombones for the kind of music they play. They want the valves and the sound that it gets. So this might be a way to kind of get a combination of both if you're good with a slide but still need the sound of the valves or the flexibility of them. Uh, it's really fun to have both. So this particular instrument, uh, like I said, is made by Mendini or Mendini made by Cecilio, kind of the same thing. And it's uh, Chinese made, it's a little bit cheaper. It's, it's not uh, the best quality, but it is uh, kind of fun to have. It's, it's more of a novelty item as most of these things are. Uh, since the, the regular super bones, the good ones are, you know, a couple thousand dollars, they, they go pretty expensive. This thing was, uh, I think they retail at, at maybe four or five hundred, which is um, still a little a little steep, but much more uh, affordable. And, and this one was used, so it was a little bit of a better deal for me, you know, just to pick, pick up for fun. Um, and so this one has, it comes with two um, lead pipes, sort of. They, they call them adapters, so you can see it kind of has this, this collar. For the mouthpiece and then the lead pipe later down the line uh, but it has one for large shank and small shank mouthpieces so you're able to switch it out uh, i chose the large shank one because um, as you can imagine being a not super well constructed horn it's a little stuffy <laughs> to say the least um, so i found that the large bore adapter really opened up the horn at least as much as it can uh, and then the valves, uh, they say, are just regular Monel, Monel valves, uh, which are pretty popular with the, the Chinese horns. You know, they're, they're easy to manufacture, pretty cheap, but hold up relatively well. And action's not too bad, uh, relatively quiet, and they move just fine after I oiled, oiled them up. Uh, so if you can see some of this tubing, uh, since it doesn't have the extra room to extend out like a normal valve section would, there's a couple extra bends of tubing coming around here from the from the first and especially the third uh, valve, giving it um, that little bit of extra stuffiness with, you know, having to push through more turns coming out of that. But other than that, it's just got a yellow brass eight and a half inch bell and, and the standard slide. You can reach all seven positions. Uh, and of course, you have the combination of the valves as well to give you even more than that if you, if you wanted to go uh, farther than that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, try and play a couple things on this, giving you a little bit of an idea how it sounds, and I hope you like it.